The ocean is an ominous place. It is a place of great allure and great uncertainty. We know not what dwells beneath the depths or what the passage of time might have concealed underneath the glittering waves. A mere estimated 5% of the ocean has been discovered. Fallen civilizations, mythological beings, or even proof of alien technology may be hidden down in the dark, murky abyss of the Earth's seas. Besides, anything goes on international waters. It is difficult to determine which nation should take charge of missing persons cases that occur on cruise ships and boats. Missing people are typically assumed dead, forever resting at the bottom of the sea with the other undiscovered mysteries. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mysteries and discoveries of the ocean. Deep Sea Expedition uncovers 30 new species, plus longest known animal. It is widely accepted that the sea contains thousands of as yet undiscovered creatures. It seems that every time a research team dives to new depths, they uncover a host of new species. And the April 2020 expedition was no exception. A team of scientists from multiple institutes combined forces to document 20 dives and 180 hours of footage of the Ningaloo Canyons in the Indian Ocean captured by a deep-sea diving robot called ROV Sebastian. The robot was able to penetrate to depths of over 4,500 meters and captured video of many species that had not been seen in the area before, as well as several apparently entirely new species. Among these new discoveries was a giant red hydroid, which is a relative of the coral species that appeared to be over a meter tall, as well as a new member of the Apolemia that is estimated to be over 47 meters long, making it the longest animal ever recorded. Technically, the Apolemia is made up of a giant colony of cell-like creatures called zooids and is classified as a siphonophore. Because it is made up of millions of tiny individual creatures, some would say that the Apolemia in itself cannot be classified as its own entity. However, siphonophores are particularly fascinating because each of the zooids, despite being individual creatures and not cells, act as if they were, each carrying out specific functions that contributes to the viability of the larger whole, such as food digestion, reproduction, and propulsion. The Apolemia is without a doubt a creature of otherworldly proportions, as it was glimpsed in its glowing, spiralling, UFO-like feeding posture through the lenses of the diving robot. The structure is not where the extraterrestrial illusions stop either. As the zooids are described by scientists as a jelly made of millions of interconnected clones, with each clone being specialised to do one of a dozen different tasks. What makes this specimen stand out so vividly for researchers is its enormous size. Most siphonophore colonies that have been observed so far have been between 17 centimetres and 1 metre long, entirely dwarfed by the 47 metre length of this colony whose hunting spiral spread across almost a 16 metre diameter, with tendrils dangling into the water below. The discovery of such an enormous example of a species already known has excited researchers about the immense possibilities for what could lie beyond the realm of our exploration, and one of those things could be millions more giant siphonophore galaxies just like this one, simply waiting to be discovered. Among the other species that were observed in the dives into the deep sea off of Western Australia were bioluminescent squid, glass sponges, long-tailed sea cucumbers, mollusks, barnacles and squat lobsters that were previously not known to inhabit this part of the ocean. Specimens from the dives were collected and will be on display in Australia. It seems that the ocean will never fail to amaze us with its mysteries, and we may never truly know exactly how many unknown species lie hidden and undiscovered in the uncharted depths. Researchers keep changing their mind on how big Megalodon was. The prehistoric Megalodon was the massive great-great-great-grandfather of the sharks that lurk among beaches today. Researchers studying fossilized skeletons of the Megalodon agreed that it was undoubtedly one of the largest shark species to ever roam the ocean. However, 
they were previously unable to agree upon exactly how large this creature was until a recent study answered these questions once and for all. The massive beast lived from around 23 million years ago until 3 million years ago, and fossilized remains of its teeth, which are as large as human hands, have finally cracked the code in allowing scientists to definitively estimate the truly massive proportions of the megalodon. Sharks' multiple rows of teeth mean that they frequently shed them, sometimes as often as once a week, and the next tooth in the row moves forward to take its place. Since the teeth grow proportionately with the shark and on average a shark will lose 2,000 teeth in its lifetime, paleontologists at the University of Bristol and Swansea University were able to take rare fossilized megalodon teeth and compare them with teeth of modern-day species to chart a growth curve for the ancient beast. The growth curve generated mathematical calculations which were used to determine the previously undetermined proportions of the megalodon, and these proportions were mammoth indeed. The shark would have reached adult size at around 18 meters, with a tail length of an average of 4 meters and weighing upwards of 48 tons. Clocking in at more than twice the size of a modern-day great white shark, the megalodon is by far the largest shark species to have existed. Its dorsal fin alone would have been as tall as the average adult male, and the bite force behind those multiple rows of teeth was estimated to be over 10 tons, dwarfing the great white's bite strength of only 2 tons. Serrated bite marks on the fossilized bones of animals unfortunate enough to be prey to the megalodon act as a testament to the incredible strength of those jaws. The megalodon, meaning giant tooth, is aptly named. With teeth over three times the size of the great white shark, which is its closest modern-day relative. There is no doubt that those massive jaws ruled the sea in its time. Octopus are walking on shore Octopuses are some of the most well-known sea creatures, with their curious eight tentacles, incredible intelligence, camera-like eyeballs, and slimy bodies. However, a local marine guide from Wales, upon returning from a sunset dolphin watching expedition, witnessed an octopus in a place where he never expected to see one, on dry land. He reported seeing over two dozen of the creatures crawling up out of the water on the tips of their tentacles and moving onto the sand as though part of some mass migration, and soon other locals made reports of a similar nature. It is not unheard of for octopi to take a stroll outside of the water occasionally. Those that live in shallow waters near tide pools frequently use the tips of their tentacles to crawl from pool to pool in search of prey, sometimes embarking on longer stretches if they are especially unlucky in the hunt. A popular octopus at the National Aquarium of New Zealand proved his prowess as an escape artist by crawling out of his tank, across the room, down a drainage pipe and into the sea. However, scientists are baffled as to why so many of the creatures were existing in a group to such a sandy stretch of beach, one with no tide pools or chance of finding food. They breathe through gills and can only survive out of water for very short stretches of time and must remain moist in order to be able to absorb oxygen from the water on their skin, which is why they have never been known to attempt such a long stretch out of the water. Several octopuses were discovered the next morning having died after drying out too much. Scientists are baffled as to what could cause these small, hand-sized cephalopods to behave in such a dangerous manner. It is possible that a huge change in their environment, brought on by incredibly rough seas around the time that they were spotted, local pollution, or an unusually low tide, could have disorientated the octopi enough that they mistakenly clambered onto dry land. Other theories include illness or parasitic infection, although the creatures that were discovered the next morning appeared to have been in perfect health and died from drying out rather than any infection. Alarmingly, scientists don't know what has caused these octopuses to behave in this manner, and are carefully studying the species for any clues. But what do you make of these ocean mysteries and discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community by working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.